in the house tonight. Come on. You know, New York, of course, New York is where it happened too, and LA is great, but New Orleans has always been kind of, somehow the kind of underdog or something, you know? Like, people are always, always just like, yeah, you know, it's cool, Louis Armstrong, it's fun, it's, it's nice and cozy jazz, but there's a lot, there's a lot happening in that city. And, uh, and it's just, it's, it's, part, it's part of the culture, it's part of the heritage, people breathe it, they feel it. And uh, it's not it's not something something you learn out of a book or you know or just uh, try to like play. I, I, I'm in this workshop. I just want to show you guys what uh, how these guys you know how they move. You know they're just like so fun. To... Walking down the street. They all came out of the church tradition. That's where the tambourine comes from. So a lot of times they would learn playing the tambourine from their grandmas. So, uh, Zai, um, I played with the drummer in my band, and he was his father was a pastor and in the church in New Orleans East, and it was an old black Baptist African church. And I was the only white guy uh, in the church, uh, but. It doesn't matter, it was great. Everybody was very warm, receptive. They brought me in. I even played a song. You know, I played some bass and everybody loved it. And it's just the way it's it's all it's it's just the way the people are and that makes the culture and and also um, I don't know if you know know some some of the, the cuisine or the food in New Orleans. It's, it's uh red beans, rice, jambalaya, uh, crawfish. All those kind of things. It's all, you know, it's all, it's about bringing people together, eating together, eating nice food. And it kind of translates into, into the music, into the music, as you can see, um, which, is, which is a great thing. And when I studied there, I just, people saw that I was, I was, I was eager to learn. And I was, I, 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 I had a connection with the, with the musicians too, and the city itself. And they, they brought me in, they gave me a chance. They weren't like, oh, you're some European white dude, you know, just leave, you know. Just. But they were just very, they were very open about it because they want to share their culture. Because it's very, it's very special. It's very special what they have. <laughs> That's for sure. Um, not per se drummers, but more as in playing in a certain groove, in a certain pocket. Uh, I'll show you. Uh, I'll show you a clip later. Uh, but this dude talks about how it's not. It's not uh, specifically straight, like, and it's not like a shuffle, but it's right, right somewhere in the middle, you know, a crack, as they call it. So it's kind of like, it makes you want to move forward, but it's always kind of like, uh, you know, go back. It's just, it's kind of nasty, you know? So uh, like, I want to, you got me running, you got me hiding, you got me running, hide, hide, run anywhere you want to go, yo. You know, so it's so like in a crap, it sort of rolls like that. So, and uh, as in drummers, um, especially in this workshop, I want you uh, to play loud, <laughs> which you don't hear a lot, I guess, but I mean with intensity, and I think that's very, uh, I think that's very important, because you don't have to play loud with the same intensity, but as you see, you know, so, I mean, somebody like, like her and Riley, it's just incredible, um, but also as a drummer, um, a lot of times you play, as, as in a drum kit, you play the drum kit from bottom up, and that's the big, one of the big, biggest difference, and 
the rest of the world because I think a lot of times in, when you uh, listen to pop music, no, not specifically pop music, I'm more t talking about like the jazz, the bebop, or you know, like later, it's more about you know, like the toms and, and the cymbals and the colors. And this is straight up all about the bass drum. You know, like they phrase it, they, you can put a lot of accents on your bass drum. And then hide on the two and four, and then you roll in the middle of your snare. That's kind of the, you know, the way it works. But, um, and that's, I mean, that's, that definitely defines how people play in New Orleans. How people hear music, of course they hear it, they hear sounds, but a lot of times they don't know what the fuck's going on, and they just see you standing there, and if you're just like, Ugh, you know, you're kind of like playing like this, it's not working, you know, because you don't, you you haven't been practicing, you know, for six hours or whatever, they don't care, they just want to have a good time, they just drinking a beer and they want to hear the band play and see. They want to dance and everybody's just, you know, just caught up with their selves because it's not about you. It's not about you, it's about the music. How are you going to serve the music on that particular time? You know, that's, that's one of the most important things. You serve the music, you play the music. And if you're just, you know, just constantly fighting or, you know, just struggling with yourself it's you know it's hard it's hard to open up and make music but it's also yeah it's a thing it's a mind thing you know it's good it's good to know um, you know to get in a certain place where you're just comfortable with yourself and it takes it takes a while i'll tell you that that's for sure instrument a lot and made a lot of hours and played a lot but it's in a way you, know, you have to let that go and just let it sink and really like who am I like what what kind of stuff do I play what why do people call me why what you know why is my playing good why does it suck think about that it's hard I know it's just, it's and everybody has his own way of finding it out some, for some it'll take a little longer, for some it won't. Um, but just, you know, just be aware of that. Because it's not about the notes. It's not about the notes at all. still play it and it still um, brings people together. Uh, you see the musicians on stage looking at each other, making mistakes, but coming out differently and even, you know, coming out with even better shit. So you see people in the audience clapping their hands, you see people walking by, stopping for a second, and that's exactly what it should be. 
And I just want to say to all, all the musicians that played today, um, you all did a really great job. Um, and, you know, don't forget, this, this is all blues, you know, all the music we played, all the, 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 the kind of difficult stuff, it's, it all comes from the blues, so, whenever you, you know, you can put some nasty shit in there to it, you know, it feels good. Um, so yeah, I want to thank everybody for their dedication to all this music. I bet my teachers back in the audience would be amazed, they would smile. Thank you very much. I hope to do this in the future and give it up for everybody. Thank you. You're awesome.